Hello! In part two of this video tutorial, we'll show you what to do after you've finished the general application. Once you've submitted your general application, you're not quite done yet. There's still another step that will allow you to apply to more opportunities. Although by submitting the general application, you will be automatically matched to many opportunities, there are some scholarships where you'll need to take a few extra steps. First, you'll want to go up to this blue bar at the top of the page and click Opportunities. You'll see there are different options available. Start by going to the recommended opportunity. You'll see that I have two opportunities that I can apply for. Remember, your application has already been automatically matched to many other scholarships for which you immediately qualify. You don't need to apply to those scholarships, but you will need to apply to any recommended opportunities you see below. Before you select the green apply button, you're going to want to make sure you qualify for the recommended opportunities listed. Click on the scholarship opportunity in order to see the requirements of that award. This award requires you to demonstrate financial need, overcome obstacles in order to pursue your educational goals, have a minimum 3.0 GPA, and be a student at Seattle Central College. You must also demonstrate an interest in fostering LGBTQI tolerance. If you feel you meet all of these criteria, you'll go forward and click Apply. This opportunity only requires you to answer one more question. For instance, this scholarship requires you to write a short paragraph that describes your connection to the LGBTQI community and the efforts you have been involved with to advocate for those rights. Once you have finished, go ahead and click Finish and Submit. You'll see here that your application has been successfully submitted and you can continue to look at the other recommended opportunities. You might find that you do not qualify for any other opportunities. Don't worry. This doesn't mean that you don't qualify for any other scholarships. Remember, after you finished your general application, you were automatically matched to other scholarships in which you immediately qualified. Unfortunately, you won't get to browse at these scholarships until after they are awarded. The next step after you've finished your general application is also to remember your references. On the reference tab, you'll be able to see the status of your reference. You'll see here that I have requested my reference and it has not been completed. If I need to remind my reference, you can always click resend request and it will resend the email link for your reference to fill out the online reference form. If you want to go and see a complete list of all of the scholarship opportunities, you can go to the Opportunities tab and scroll through the many opportunities we have for this academic year. If you see none listed in the column for applying, this means that you may have been matched automatically for this scholarship. Other scholarships here will let you apply, although remember, if they do not appear in your recommended opportunities, you may not qualify. Remember to click on the scholarship and view the requirements in order to know if you will qualify for that award. If you need further assistance with your scholarship application, please remember to email us at scholarships at seattlecolleges.edu. Thank you and good luck again with your scholarship application.